Take a look at what Nestor has done so far in 2022. Top 10 in ERA, top five in whip, top five in opponent average, and a whole lot of other good numbers. And I don't have to tell people what F war is. I think we all we're all well aware. We're all well aware of it. All right, Dero. I you bet and Nestor, Nestor Cortez. doesn't even know what F war is. <laughs> not a clue. Yeah. Not a clue. All right, it's not every day we get. You know, all-star pitcher to come in here. So I want I want to get in the weeds with you a little bit. There's a couple things that you do that are different from other pitchers. I don't think you get enough run. We were talking before we came on the air. Come up here real quick. Some of the wind-ups you have, I think, <laughs> athletically, that's not easy. Like balance point, co core strength. And you're telling me you think it's easy to do all those things. In front of 40,000 people, no nerves, get in. Put some of these up here. Do you make these up driving over to the yard? <laughs> no, I make these up on the mound. On the mound, on the, on the fly. Otani, you said, I'm just going to. Yep. Just right there, I'm thinking of what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Like, balance point-wise, you don't think this is difficult to do? You said you almost fell over one time. Yeah, so basically, uh, as soon as I throw the pitch that I'm getting the ball back from the catcher, I'm saying, okay, this is this is what I'm doing it. But and you're then, doing it for a reason. Deception, yeah, sure. throw the timing sure. off. Obviously, uh, you know, hitting is about timing. Yeah. And I'm trying to disrupt that, you know, as many times as possible when I'm up there. So um, that's basically how, you know, maybe a guy is having a good at bat against me or following a couple pitches off. and. Um, did you get a chance to talk to Devers about this? No, but he probably hates me for that. Look at this. So you almost fell over right here? Yeah, so right here I'm like, all right, what do I do? <laughs> all right, I'm coming up. Uh, I got to go, I got to go. And then 88 mile per hour fastball. Pause this. Have you ever had Booney or your pitching coach or anybody say, hey, chill on all those things? <laughs> um, no, they actually like it. They really? actually like it, yeah. Um, for me, I think it's like, I don't want to give up a base hit when I'm doing those type of things. Yeah. Because then it's like, well, I, I had, you know, three other options that I could have probably been been better off. But, you know, it, it comes with the territory, I think. So would you tell, if you could do it for us, that would be yeah. Would you tell young kids at home, like, balance point over the rubber is, for like, sure. essential? For sure. I think, I think that's what everybody tries to teach, you know, coming up. I think, uh, you know, obviously when you're coming up and your leg is up, you want to be right over your back leg, right? It's just probably like hitting. You want to be in that power position. So if I'm in that power position right here, but I'm doing a couple things, dancing up here and stuff like that, to go to the plate, I still got to get and dr hit, drive into that hip so I can go home and, you know, so throw right a competitive So right there against pitch. Devers, you almost come off that. Then that's what right I'm there. saying. So when I was coming up, I did kind of something like this. I yeah. don't remember because it's one of one. <laughs> um, once I'm coming here, I lose balance. And then for me to be able to get under my under my my my, my back leg, I gotta go home at this point. Yeah. And you know, try and make a competitive pitch. So luckily it was kind of dotted. So I got away with that he one. He must have been so upset. I mean, a couple guys just look at me, I'm like, what? they're like, what are you doing? So All right, number two. I want to talk about you. You mentioned on the couch your uptick in your heater. Yeah. Is there is there a reason why you think you gained a little bit more velocity? You change your off season workout. Is it more the analytical type stuff? Uh, I think it's Leave a little there for a, a little bit of both. I think um, obviously it started with the off season. I think the off season training uh, changed for me and um, got stronger. Uh, was able to take care of my body better. Um, got a routine. Yeah. And then. You know, once I got here, you know, even last year, uh, strength coaches uh, were really good on what I was lacking, uh, and we made that better. Um, are you guys like, I mean, are you squatting, you deadlifting, you doing any of that stuff, or is it more band work, more? It, it's it's a lot of band work. It's a lot of, um, you know, uh, medicine balls and stuff yeah. like that, slamming and twisting and turning. So I think that's that's what's gotten me, you know, maybe more more rotation, uh, able to sit there a little longer, yeah. able to whip the arm better. So I think, uh, like I said, it's been a, a little bit of both with the off-season training and the analytics and, you know, people so helping me out. I sit there and watch you nightly when you're starting, and I'm like, why is no one squaring up this dude's four-seam fastball? <laughs> yeah, sometimes with like 3-1 fastball, I'm like, oh man, here it goes. It's like, 91, swing and miss him. Right by him. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm taking you back because this is some of the AVs, right? We'll go back to April 12th. You got off to an awesome start. 
I'm going to bring up Bo Bichette, just an AB, and I want you to kind of walk me through the ability to just kind of execute your heater middle 92. That I mean, 1-0, that's what you're on right there yeah. if I'm Bo Bichette. Yeah. Um, obviously, Little Bo Bichette cutter is a great, in. great hitter. I'm trying to execute up and in on him, uh, cutter off that, and then run that back. Tell me what you're thinking in this situation right here. Two two count. Two two. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to run, just run it up in the zone. Uh, elevated. Elevated. Yeah. Uh, now do you get like the, the scouting report saying these are the guys you can go? Yeah, I mean obviously. Or is that your? Uh, no, it, it's kind of my bread and butter, uh, uh, yeah. honestly. Um, and then there's 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 uh, guys that we pick and choose, and and obviously with with different counts. Um, but here I'm just I'm just trying to throw something up in the zone. Uh, two two. Um, obviously, this is this is one of my better fastballs right here, and luckily I got him to swing and miss. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the numbers. We can bring up different boards. Bring up his four seam stats, fastball stats, stat cast if you can, S Rod. I mean, it, your average velocity is sitting like right at 92. It's not like your spin rate's through the moon, no. but no one hit, dude. A little deception, a little this, a little that. No one's that. hitting your cheese. <laughs> and then you go cutter off. The beginning of the season, I felt like every time I watched you, you were four seam cutter. Yep. And then it was almost like the league yep. started to adjust to you. Yep, yep. Um, I think I was almost split between cutter and fastball to yep. start off. Obviously, the league, you know, caught up to that. <clears throat> start cheating um, in. Yeah, and uh, I, I struggled for two or three outings, and I, I had to, I had to adjust as, as everybody does in this league uh, to be successful. I think. Yeah. You know, take a look at this. The more you 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 adjust, I think the, the higher chance you have. You to dive succeed. in all the analytics and stuff. Obviously, this not, is not just yeah. generic pitch pitch percentage. Not like this though. Uh, this is actually pretty cool for me to see. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. You don't even look at it. Oh no, wow. Are you no. looking at? The rap sodos and yeah, I'm looking at you know that. spin direction, um, you know vertical movement, stuff like that, yeah. uh, which we can see it every day in the bullpen, you know, in between our starts. And then once we're out there, we're obviously competing. Um, but I, I, I don't, I don't really dive into these numbers as much. So this is pretty cool to, to see this how, how it's changed. How much deviation you think <clears throat> between your cutter slider? Two completely different. Completely pitches. different. Really? Yeah, my my slider is about. 77, 78 with a lot of horizontal. Um, my cutter is anywhere from 87 to 90. So um, you're trying to, yeah, I mean, that's more of a heat or like yeah. burying it in. Yeah, yeah, I struggled a little bit when I was go throwing, going through the rough patch. I was leaving it down in the zone. So I've, you know, I've made the adjustment to come up with it and, and, and just set my sights a little higher. Um, and, you know, it's back working. Yeah, get me into one more AB. I'm picking on Toronto just because we went through some things, and they seem to be situated. I mean, that's 94 middle, middle. Bo's walking back to the dugout going, you son of a gun. <laughs> All right, so here's Alejandro Kirk, August 21st, yep. right? Run that back. 2-1, top six. I'm trying, like, do you know he's taken right there? Like, I'm walking to the plate like, I'm ambushing this dude if he did me or <laughs> middle, middle. I could tie the score. I'm sure. And you give him 91 cookie. And he spits on it. I'm sure. I'm sure the other two at bats, we kind of set him up for this. Um, okay. So, you know, middle middle heater, just trying to steal a strike. You like the pitch com? Love it. You love it. Love it. Why? I'm, I'm a fast worker. And Pause. This. I feel like that that gets me going even even quicker. So, and batters aren't comfortable up there. I mean, I get I get called time at least two or three times a game. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. You think so? Pitch clock's gonna work for you. Yes, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think affect it's gonna ball. affect me at all. Yeah. Do you hear an automated like fastball yeah. in? Yeah, automated person. Would you rather hear your catcher's voice be like, oh, that's good. Austin <laughs> Hedges? Austin <laughs> Hedges rewired Cleveland. Really? So they hear like his voice like bury this. Oh, in. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> it, 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 I think I think when you're pitching, it's not the same to call cutter in to say cut or expand, you know? I think that triggers something in the mind for you to be able to execute or maybe throw the, the pitch you want. And I think that's pretty good for the catcher to tell you, hey, we, we need this in here right now. Yeah, let's go. Fires me Are up. Are we on TV? <laughs> Obviously, he'll be here for two hours. All right, here we go. Oh, so 93, yep. yes he did. No, he didn't. No, Look he at did. you. Of course not. You're a showman. Now that's cutter. Yep. yep. 
cutter right there. Slider. Little back door slider. Yep. Ooh, and then 90, find that back. Like, get out of here with this. You missed my teams. spot. <laughs> Go. Trying to go down and away. Middle, middle. Middle, middle. Do you manipulate the, the, the rubber? Or are you no, always I always, on a, you're always on the third base side? Always on the third base side, yeah. I always stay on this side. Uh, it's something I've done since, since I've started pitching and never changed. Well, I mean, you're certainly comfortable on wearing the pinstripes. They're not too heavy for you. You're certainly comfortable out here, man. Yeah. We are so jacked up that you came. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for coming in. Awesome. Thank you. Stuff. It's been awesome. Yeah. Uh, if could I could could I interest don't you? Don't ask in, him for tickets. Do in, not. In, no, I, 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 no, I, I don't want to go. What should I, someone get for the judge? Board? No, I want to be the voice for your pitch com. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You'll start laughing. So You're going to talk, war, talk Robert. With, uh, talk with Jose and, you know, maybe we can come up. Maybe, with maybe we, we, we could put it in there yeah. for the change up. <laughs> for the change up. Yeah, for the change Because he moves slow. Hey, Nestor, throw a good change up here. Oh, God. <laughs> You're not selling your case. Hey, Nestor, okay. let's get him with the fastball. Nestor, you're stunned. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for coming in, man. We no, had a lot of fun. Thank you for having me.